This afternoon, we continue investigating the record high number of car thefts across the country. But computerized systems that make your car so convenient also make it an easier target for thieves. They are becoming experts at car hacking. National Consumer Correspondent Usher Qureshi asks, who's paying attention to this? If you saw these guys walking up to your front door, you probably wouldn't know what to make of it. These car thieves are using sophisticated equipment to steal the signal from a key fob inside the house. Less than 30 seconds after launching what's known as a relay attack, the criminals and that car in the driveway are gone. This is where it was stolen right. from? Yep, it was right out front, and then they pulled up after hours and pulled it off. In car owner Ivy Stryker's case, thieves used a tablet to hack into his Dodge Charger by breaching the onboard diagnostic system, caught on security camera. They pulled up in another Charger. They linked out, got in. They were in there for about 15 minutes. And then after that, you see a couple quick flashes like they're trying to break into the dashboard. What ended up happening to Ivy's Dodge Charger is pretty wild. We'll get back to that in a moment. But if you pay attention to the screen right there, you're going to see a key programmer light up, which is basically it looks like a tablet. Steve Labello is a car security specialist just outside of Chicago. He focuses on countering keyless entry car hacking. Most recent trends that we've seen, we've seen relay attacks, and uh, probably the most common one that I do see is actual key programmers that you can just plug into the vehicle's diagnostic port or onto the CAN bus network. And what's a CAN bus network? Basically, think of it as the nervous center in the vehicle where everything has to process through. And so once you get access to the CAN bus, network, you can control the car. You can pretty much do things such as delete keys, program new keys, and just basically speak to the vehicle. Exploiting some of these vulnerabilities, how quickly could you steal a car? Uh, if it was this Dodge, in about a minute or less. Labello showed us just how quickly thieves are able to hack in using a tablet. Okay, it's asking me to put the key next to the console. Press the, okay, uh, the unlock button. Once I do that, it should be good. It works. That fast. Last summer, Senator Ed Markey of Massachusetts sent letters to 17 car makers urging them to, quote, take all necessary steps to ensure that keyless entry systems, once a security innovation that deterred thieves, do not become a security liability for them to exploit. The senator also asked them for data on the number of their cars that are stolen and how. We reached out to all of them as well. Only five responded and none could provide that information. I think manufacturers have known about the vulnerability for some years. After decades as a detective, Clive Wayne is now with Tracker, a company that specializes in recovering stolen cars in the UK. How important is it to track the method by which car thieves are stealing cars. That seems to be something that's lacking, at least here in the United States. I think it's, it's incredibly important because unless the industry has a knowledge of how vehicles are being compromised, then they, they, you know that nothing's gonna be done about it. Tracker UK's numbers show that keyless car theft reached an all time high in July, accounting for 98% of all the stolen cars they recovered that month. Are manufacturers doing enough to protect cars from this type of theft? I don't, I don't think so, and I, I think a lot of them probably just aren't aware how easy these cars are to be stolen in the first place. Steve Labello offers his customers this solution, an aftermarket security system that requires you to enter a pre-programmed code using existing factory buttons in the vehicle to authorize it to start. Without that secondary authentication, the car won't go anywhere. So you're preventing them from being able to program new keys. That's correct. And also start the car with just a key. That's correct. He installed that system on Ivy's car. Hit it right. Code. Beeps twice. Now you can turn it on. It's the reason the thieves couldn't get it started. As you can see, they had to push it away using their getaway car. 17 miles later, they gave up and ditched it. Stellantis, which makes the Dodge Charger, tells us its vehicles meet all federal and industry security standards. And the company urges drivers to take due care in securing their vehicles.
So one way you can keep your key fobs safe right away, when you're at home, store them away from the door in a metal box or a special signal blocking pouch. Another good option is an old fashioned anti-theft tool like a steering wheel lock. It can serve as a physical deterrent to the new generation of car thieves who'd rather hack into your car than use a hacksaw. Usher Qureshi, CBS News.